Morning at NTV. Welcome back to Morning at NTV and many thanks for staying with us right here on the show. Well, we're getting into a very fast Kickstarter conversation of the day that is mainly centered around the NRM parliamentary primaries. The campaigns have been a tussle. We've seen so many incidences of violence, hooliganism, mar the whole electoral process ahead of the NRM parliamentary primaries tomorrow. Yes, they will be held tomorrow. But today, uh, the NRM Electoral Commission Chairman, Dr. Tango Doi, will be making his way to Sembabula District to harmonize another very contentious situation between Anifa Kawoya, that's one of the contenders, and Joseph Sekabito, whose supporters engaged in a fist fight and some of them ended up in hospital. Well, to discuss this and more, we are now joined by Kefa Mafomo. He's the NRM mobilizer to find out how best we can iron out these issues from the NRM internal primaries and how best to expel uh, circumstances of hooliganism and violence. He joins me right now in studio. A very good morning, uh, Mr. Mafumo. Good morning, mm -hmm. comrade. I'm telling you. The situation is really debilitating. I've been focusing on uh, the NRM primaries for now, the campaigns in particular, and we've been noticing an uptick in violence in so many parts of the country. And True. the viewer who is watching Money at NTV this beautiful Thursday would like to know, what is causing this violence? What is, why is it so tense? True. Uh, mm. You see, violence is something uh, that somebody will not be surprised to see uh, in contestations like this one. Uh, we have seen uh, even worse uh, uh, situations in, mm -hmm. in advanced uh, societies uh, of violence when it comes to contestations, just like what is, uh, the NRM is going through. You had uh, uh, when uh, America was uh, also going through election, mm -hmm. what you, you used to hear uh, that would come out, for, uh, come, uh, come through from the Trump uh, versus uh, Hillary Clinton and what have you. Mm -hmm. So this is a question of emotion. But however, uh, yes, bef before, because you hinted on something that I was following for so many years, the U.S. election, before you get into the local election, there was never fighting within the Hillary Clinton camp. And no. there was never fighting within the uh, Trump camp. There was, but there was fighting between the Trump and Hillary Clinton camp. Here in Uganda, what, what we are witnessing is fighting within the NRM camp. Why are you fighting among each other? Why is it so tense? That's what we want to know. Yeah, you see, uh, violence is uh, an emotional. Uh, mm. I mean, an election is an, uh, it touches the emotion of people. And, uh, and this has been going on. It, because this is not the first election in the NRM. Mm. Even 2011, 2016, right. we saw some of these episodes. Yes. I think as a party, what uh, the party should do quickly uh, uh, do mm is to come up with a, uh, even a department, mm. fully-fledged department, mm. uh, that, can, uh, that is uh, charged with the duty of doing civic education. Because you realize that maybe uh, so, uh, the, these parties do not know what exactly they're supposed to do. The voter does not know their limit or even the, 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 the candidate. And you believe that is the precursor for violence that we've so, been seeing? Uh, because you realize that uh, a candidate thinks I have gone to a competition, but I must win. It is either I win or win. They even don't know that uh, it's a competition. You can either win or lose. So the issue of civic education is wanting. And uh, I, th I think I would call upon the secretary to quickly set up such, a, uh, you know, uh, such an arrangement. And then also the psychosocial bit of it. Um, because from what you see, you see a, a full minister engaged in the fights, he either must die or win. So it means he's not seeing a future after this election. Therefore, such people need psychosocial support mm. to help them know that there is life after election. Right. There is life after this primary. You see? And not, you should not put your life at the front just because of an election. Yes. Uh, for God's sake, I think this election or this exercise uh, is set to sieve or to pick people who are going to just serve and not anything else mm -hmm. and uh, it's not a deal or business or anything so i think the party should look into the idea of creating some of these departments that will help build or empower the party even its members with knowledge about what should be done 
in electioneering. Yes, mm. yes, yes. And we've also seen cases where the police and the military, UPDF, had to get involved in this whole electoral process. Do you envisage a situation in the near future where the, uh, you know, the tension will be eased? No, you see, uh, as much as I know, mm. police and, um, and, and the military are charged with the duty of securing Ugandans. So I think they are coming on board. It's for the good of Ugandans and more specifically to lay a leveled ground for everybody. The onus is now on us. Mm. It's the onus is on the voter. The onus is on the candidate and the supervisory uh, organ, the secretariat and what have you, to play their role and do it well. You know, so that, uh, and I'm telling you, if everybody does what they're supposed to do, you'll never see all this. Or even, even if, um, you know, if, if there's any case, worst case scenario, mm. then it will be minimal. We will have to mitigate most of these bad, you know, bad situations. And there are also reports, Mr. Kefa Mafumo, that you are also boxed out of the Central Executive Committee race. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the viewer would like to know, why are elections a do or die situation in Uganda? Yeah, you see, don't you see, uh, I'm smiling, I have not uh, fought. Well, I Unlike Mr. Chiwanda, I, go ahead. I participated mm. in the SEC election, mm. and uh, um, the highest organ sat, and uh, they, they, make, they made uh, certain decisions to yeah. me and said you do not qualify now, maybe next time. And I, I, I took it. But uh, of course, uh, Ndugu, this process I, I, I got involved in uh, gave me a lot of experience. It got me to know what is in the NRM inside, what is lacking, where are the gaps. For example, if I would share with you, and which uh, has even manifested uh, from from the outcome of, of our election in the SEC, mm. where you saw the voters raised the whip. Most of the, 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 the you know, the incumbents were thrown out. <laughs> they packed and went. I, we realized that there had been a virtue. There had, uh, there had been kind of disconnect between this top, the mm. top, uh, the top brass, the top, uh, uh, these top people, uh, and, and the grassroots voter, something which was a, uh, was a time bomb mm -hmm. for, for, for our party. So I got the chance to get to understand where, what, and where are the gaps in my party. Uh, uh, Ndugu, we also realized that uh, there is this group of people in our party. Mm -hmm. They are neither youth nor old. Mm. You see, in our party, we have all structures. We have the youth league, we have women league. Now, the youth have a league. Then also the elder also have somewhere, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a certain class. Now there is this group called the young. They are never old, they are never young. This is the type of people that I need. This, mm. I, this is very serious, and I saw it. I, I have a feeling that this disgruntlement, this hot air of uh, loop, what is coming from that kind of group. As a party, we actually need to rush and see how to tap into this, uh, this, All right. this, this, this group. All right. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Kefa, besides a candidate, you know, besides the expectation of a candidate running for an independent position after losing in the primary, is it still necessary to run for these polls? If you are loyal mm. to, you see, if you are loyal to the party and you believe in the party principles yes. and mm. the rules, that question doesn't arise. But of course, there are people who are stubborn, mm. and and some of them, luckily enough, have have made it to, to parliament. I, I think it's something uh, somebody who who pays total allegiance to the party would not even want to entertain, because there is no independent in a in a party. You are either NRM or not NRM. So I don't uh, credit that at mm. all. Mm. As me, as a me, Kef Mafumo, uh, who believes in the uh, principles of the party, the rules and what have you. I don't believe that you can be independent NRM. <laughs> what do you mean? Because NRM is collective effort. 
So you cannot say I am now independent NRM. I don't know what some other people think about, but for me, as to me, I don't think somebody can be independent and then NRM at the same time. Yeah. All right, Mr. Kefa, finally, uh, before I let you go, <coughs> can you foresee a time in the near future when the leadership will iron out all, almost all these issues that are causing tension in the internal primaries and also the general elections? Yes, uh, I wanted to interest you and maybe even interest the Ugandans go ahead. that, that uh, as soon as I left uh, this, uh, the SEC election, mm. I quickly went back to my grassroots. I went back to my network uh, and then also I invited com mm. some of our comrades who, who also participated and we came up with a very solid political group uh, within the umbrella of, of, of the party. Mm. And uh, as we speak, we are doing structuring. Mm. And uh, I tell you, uh, the party very in the very near future mm. is going to be very vibrant mm. with younger people, especially those in this area. Mm. embracing it. You see, the last question, Mr. Kefa, is coming in from the viewers who are watching Morning at NTV this beautiful Thursday, who have been actually noticing the violence within the campaigns, NRM people meeting on violence against NRM people. So the viewer is wondering, if the NRM people are fighting against each other, beating themselves up, how sure is the, uh, how can you assure the country that the same violence won't be replicated against the people they are going to be tussling against in the opposition once the primaries are over? Uh, you, uh, you see, what I should let you know is uh, the party has a, a, a reconciliatory uh, mechanism and uh, I'm sure that as soon as this, uh, this uh, election hearing, this mm. process ends, the next is reconciliation and taking uh, some of our people through uh, what uh, they should do after and how to behave. So I don't see, uh, and if there is any the rules are clear. The constitution, the, 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 you know, we have clear rules. Somebody will be arrested and charged. Mm. Yeah. So I, uh, I, I don't see. But you saw also, of course, in discipline, it's, it's personal funded. So I, I don't expect violence after. But of course, you cannot rule out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kefa Mafumo is the NRM mobilizer. And many thanks for having made the time to speak to NTV. Thank you. And uh, to you, the viewer, many thanks for having made it a point to watch from 6.30 a.m. up to now. We are now going to take another breather and shortly return with another conversation centered around unpacking the new vocational education policy.